It was nearly 80 years ago that the poet Langston Hughes wrote this about America. I am the poor white, fooled and pushed apart. I am the Negro bearing slavery scars. I am the red man driven from the land. I am the immigrant clutching the hope I seek and finding only the same old stupid plan of dog eat dog, of mighty crush the weak. We're gathered here today, it seems to me, because we must speak up. We must speak out, as in Wisconsin, we have encountered not a new plan for moving forward in frugality, but we have encountered the same old stupid plan of dog eat dog and mighty crush the weak. And it always seems to begin the same way, it seems to me. It begins the, with the cry of, not enough. That's how it began in Egypt with the Pharaoh. There was not enough. Not enough food, not enough power, not enough freedom, not enough control. So, of course, rights needed to be rationed. Inconvenient people eliminated. Slavery institutionalized. Not enough. So, of course, emergency measures needed to be taken. A plan needed to be implemented. And it was the same old stupid plan of dog eat dog and mighty crush the weak. Not enough. Isn't this the cry of this time and place? Not enough money, not enough power, not enough time. There's not enough time for there to be a full discussion of the issues facing us. There's not enough power to honor the rules and offer respect for those of differing opinion. There's not enough money to offer compassionate care for the needy among us. And so emergency has been announced and a plan has been implemented, a new plan, but the same old stupid plan of dog eat dog and mighty crush the weak. Not enough, the budget cries to us. Though, for those of us today who are offered the opportunity to learn more about the budget, we discovered that there is enough money to pay for some corporate welfare, even if there's not enough to pay for medical expenses for the poor. And there, there is enough to cut capital gains taxes for the wealthy, even if there's not enough to offer transportation for the disabled. There is enough to freeze tax rates for the rich, even if there is not enough to teach our children. No, this is not a new plan. This is the same old stupid plan of dog eat dog and mighty crush the weak. to deliver today. From a burning bush at an empty tomb on a moonlit night in a thousand different ways, we have encountered the creator of this universe who has revealed to us that there is enough. There is enough in a jar of meal and a small container of oil. There is enough in a, in a few fish and a couple loaves of bread. There is enough in the waters of Lake Superior and Lake Michigan, the, the forests of the North Woods, the soil of the land of Wisconsin, the minds of our universities, the spirit of our business leaders, the strength of our workers, the compassion of our faith leaders, the wisdom of our citizens. There is enough, enough resources, enough respect, Enough power, enough hope, enough love, enough will. Enough. Enough and more than enough. For God has made this place to be a garden, teeming with everything that we need. So at this time and at this place as people of faith, as we have encountered the same old stupid plan, we have a simple three-word response to deliver today. There is enough. There is enough. There is enough. So, how would God want us to 